Hi, it's Hoffman's Mineral Vlog, and it's Friday, June 11, 2021. We got to jump right into it because I got uncorked mineral water right here. It's time for a showdown. Headed for a showdown. Boop, boop, boo, doo, doo. The two big ones with market share in New York that are beloved by all. Gerald Steiner, good enough for the National Socialists, ought to be good enough for you. And a Coca-Cola product, that's right, Coca-Cola, Topo Chico. So let's do it. I have a blind taste test. I've got two Dixie Cups right here. Boo -boo. And in here, my beloved wife put the, um, the you know, what which is which. One of these cups is blue and red. One is blue and green. And I'm going to do a blind taste test. I do not know which is which. By looking at them, the amount of bubbles and um, carbonation looks uh, pretty much the same. Here we go. Starting first with blue and red. Oh, that's delicious. A lot of bubbles and, oh, quenches my thirst. A little bitter, so I suspect this is the Gerald Steiner, but I'm not sure. Oh, wait, no. This is bitter. This is the Gerald Steiner. I actually don't know which is which. I thought I would. Gerald Steiner, as we have joked many times on Hoffman's Mineral Vlog, it's like sucking on rocks. Which is better? Showdown! Do, 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 do. It's good. Okay. I... Th Okay, uh, I'm going to tell you, um, all right, here's the deal. This one, I feel, is a little bit more, um, a little more, more punchy. Like I said, when I drank Topo Chico the other day, it's like sucking on porcupines. I think this has a little bit more of an um, uh, aggressive bubble quotient. This, however, I feel is maybe a little more bitter or minerally. A little more like you're sucking on rocks. I suspect, watch, I'll be completely wrong, but I suspect that this is the Gerald Steiner and this is the Topo Chico. But identifying it really isn't what I was trying to set out to do today. What do I like better? Last test. That is nice. That is nice, too. What, um... But if, you know, I'm out on a hot day and I want to grab a bottle and they're both beautiful bottles you know they both have a look this with these sort of lines and the curve here and this with the bulb and the the tint I think I I think I would prefer this one I really do I just like that flavorful addition so let's find out which one is which because I think if I had to choose if I was in a restaurant would you like Green or would you like red? I'm going to choose that one. I don't know for sure if it's Gerald, Gerald Steiner. I think my wife licked this envelope. Is that really what happened here? Let's do it. Do, 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 do. Should have had the music cue set up. Do, 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 do. All right, here we go. I don't know the answer. What does it say? Topo Chico is the red and blue cup. Gerald Steiner is the blue and green cup. I was correct. And I think what we've ultimately come down to is, you know, it's, it's, it's in the eye, it's, the, the tongue of the beholder. Um, this definitely is that I'm, I'm sucking on rocks. It's a little bit more bitter and minerally. But this is more of a porcupine. Not by that much more. This is still plenty porcupine too. Plenty porcupine too. What a day. Can this weekend start out any better? Then with the showdown, I don't know that it can start off any better. Let's do it. Let's see if, um, oh, where'd it go? Because now, on Hoffman's Mineral Vlog, I don't waste mineral water. 
I gotta drink two liters! Mineral water showdown. Oh God, it's so much minerals. Ugh. This is like Tony Montana with a desk full of cocaine at the end of Scarface, only it's mineral water. Don't cross the streams! The longest night. I'll be up peeing all night. The German Mexican Alliance. <clears throat> Getting wasted. So much magnesium. Save me from all this water. Uh, my internal organs are drowning. All right, let's take five. Let's take five. Let's take five. Too much. Whew. How are you? Uh, maybe this is a bad idea. Truck is going by. I'm very sorry for what's about to happen, but I think you can understand the circumstances. <laughs> oh God! Oh, this is horrible. Oh. Oh. This weekend is starting off right. I'm gonna be flushed out and be so clean. All of my problems are just gonna just explode right out in a stream two very good products available in the New York City area not that difficult I will say if you go back to previous mineral vlogs previous vlogs mineral the the other strong contender for a best, and maybe I'll have to do it like bracket style, is uh, that one that I ordered online, so I can't like go to the store and get it. The one from Chile, which was called A, Water from the Andes Mountains. Um, I don't, I like the look of its bottle, and I love the taste. I, I, the look of the bottle is great because when you open the, the, the lid, psh, the bubbles really shot up. And I had a really good flavor, quite different from Gerolsteiner, much like a sweeter spectrum of flavors. Um, but uh, it, um, I can't, I can't really. Well, I so, but the thing I didn't like it is the name. I don't really know what it's called. Is it called A? Is it called Water from the Andes? It, it said on the label, Water from the Andes Mountains, from the Santa something or other spring. And then it just had a big A on it. And then I went to the website, and it just was called waterfromtheandesmountain.com. And then it showed their wares. Well, maybe I can look it up now. I need a break. I, I need to take two seconds before we uh, continue drinking this all. I can't go bananas. I think it's called A. A. What is this called? It's such bad branding. It's waterfromtheandes.com. Our waters. Okay, let me click on that. Still water sparkling. Okay, now is it going to give me the name of the thing? What is this product called? It's just called Andy's Mountain Water? Oh. I guess it did say that on the label. Okay, Andy's Mountain Water. Andy's Candies. It's called Andy's Mountain Water. The logo is a big A. And then and it's from the foothills of the mountains of Chile. I might have to buy it again. <laughs> Because I feel like, um, 
I feel like it was. I I don't feel like I know like it was really really good, and it's a contender to go against us. But it's a true opposite. It's a true yin and yang situation. Oh my god. Oh, I'm dizzy. Okay, that was 12. That was 750 mLs. Is this bad? Am I going to really... Well, I'm almost done. I can do it. This only happens on special showdown episode. I'm spitting on my keyboard. Jesus. This is only happening on special showdown episodes. I got the windows open, the people walking by. This is ridiculous. I'm like, I'm like uh, the Good Morning America when they used to be in Times Square to Channel 7, and you could walk by and see. I remember when that idiot David Blaine was in an ice cube. Who remembers that? That was maybe 2000, 1999, 2000. And right in front of the Good Morning America thing, um, there that he was in an ice cube. And at the time... I was working for a company, ah, it doesn't matter where I was working for, and I had to get to um, an event, a music event, like a press conference type of thing, at a theater. It's the one Broadway theater that is rarely up, and they use it for special events. <clears throat> oh, God. I think it's called the, the Ambassador, maybe? Um, Broadway people know which one I'm talking about instantly. And it's like right in the zone. It's right near all the other theaters um but it's it's rarely used um anyway and i had to get there and i knew where you know oh, i'll be there in five minutes it's right it's right around the thing but stupid david blaine was in an ice cube and Times square was just mobbed and i was late for this event so i always had a, a little bit of an anger thing against david blaine now you don't hear from him too much anymore that guy's what how does he make a living what how, what, how how's he paying the mortgage residuals from being in an ice cube 20 years ago he probably uh probably has a book deal on being in an ice cube uh he was in an ice cube oh he was under the street that was fun too he was in a water sphere but the only time i ever really uh getting tired i can't finish this is this is this bad am i gonna collapse i don't think you're gonna collapse from too much water at once well i'm almost done oh okay <laughs> We did it on, <laughs> on Showdown Day. Showdown Day, we did it. And it was uh, it was a good showdown. They both showed up on Showdown. Um, they're both uh, really good products. But I think I personally liked the Gerald Steiner a little bit more. Thank you to Jeff Lynn and ELO. <laughs> All right, I got to go. I got to go lie down. That was a lot of water. That was maybe a dumb idea. Okay, I'm not doing that again. So long.